start. Chapter 1. A princess is born. Once upon a time, there were a king and queen who longed for a child. After years of waiting, they had a beautiful baby girl. She is perfect, smiled the queen joyfully. The king and queen were very proud of their daughter. They decided to hold a party to welcome her into the world. They invited all the fairies in the kingdom to come and bless her with gifts of beauty, wit, grace, dance, song and music. But they forgot to invite one fairy. And this fairy could be terribly mean when she felt jealous. Chapter 2 a wicked curse. The good fairies were just presenting their gifts when the mean fairy flew through the window. Everyone felt silent and a chill air blew the room. The queen hugged the princess close to her, but it was too late. You forgot me, but I shan't forget you, hissed the mean fairy, and you will never forget me again. My gift to your precious princess is this. When she has her 60th birthday, she will prick her finger on a spindle and die. With that, the mean fairy disappeared. The king and queen were terrified for their daughter. But there was one last good fairy who was still waiting to give the princess a gift. I cannot break my sister's skirts. However terrible it is, said the good fairy, but I can soften it a little bit. Gee, princess, she said gently, if you, sh if you prick your finger, finger on a spindle, you shall not die. You should sleep for a hundred years and be woken by a prince kiss. Chapter 3 Curse Comes True the princess grew into a beautiful, kind girl. Everyone in the kingdom loved her. Even the little birds that flew down to eat from her hand every morning. Her mother and father never told her about the fairies waking the curse. They didn't want her to worry her. Instead, they ordered that every single spindle in the kingdom be burnt so she could never prick her. But on her 16th birthday, the princess went into exploring in a tower she had never visited before. The tower was usually locked, but today, strangely, it was open. She spied in a tiny room where the door left slightly ajar. Inside sat an old lady at a spinning wheel. The princess had never seen anything like it, and she was curious to find out more. Excuse me, what are you doing? asked the princess. I'm spinning some wool, said the old lady. Would you like to try? The old lady was really the mean fairy in disguise. She made sure to prick the princess's finger with the spindle as the princess reached for it. Ouch! cried the prince. Then she fell to the floor in the deepest of sleeps. The mean fairy tickling laugh rang through the quiet tower, but the princess did not stir. Chapter 4 The Castle Falls Tide. The king and queen were divorced. They carried the princess to her bedroom and lay her gently on the soft bed. We should have warned her to never touch a spindle, sobbed the queen. When she wakes up in a hundred of years, she will be all alone. Then the king and queen had an idea. They summoned all the good fairies to help us. Please, they begged, can you send us all to sleep for a hundred years too? princess awakes, she will not be alone. The fairies agreed, and they sent the king and queen into a deep sleep with the princess. Then the fairies soon all over the kingdom, sending everyone to sleep. The whole castle felt silent. A thick forest
thorns grew around the castle. Thorns and brambles crept up around the walls and doors. Nobody visited, and the people inside stayed in a deep slumber. Chapter five: Prince.